Hello everybody, uh, today we are going to be electroplating with copper because I'm too cheap to get gold because I'm a broke high school student. So um, we'll be using hydrogen peroxide and white vinegar. So see how this will work. Uh, just using copper wire that we've had sitting around the shop since I was like four years old. Never going to sell it. Hydrogen peroxide. Should have this if you tend to get hurt a lot. And you know, I've never done this before. This is a first attempt at it, and let's see what would happen. Okay, now the copper's starting to dissolve. You can see it's making a very nice blue color around the edges. Um probably gonna let this sit overnight. It's been about 30 minutes since I last turned on the camera. And um Add a little bit more uh, vinegar, just finished off the bottle, and a bit more hydrogen peroxide, and added in a little bit more copper. So, uh, just gonna let this sit overnight and see how it looks in the morning. Well, it's the next day, and it's turning a very nice blue color. Um, made a time lapse of it um, going along last night, and using my home-built camera rig. No expense spared here. Um, I just added a little bit more hydrogen peroxide to um, oxygenate the solution, just to see if that'll help it move along better. Uh, yeah. Never done this before, so it's all new to me. But it seems that a lot of these pieces of copper, here I'll bring you guys over here. It seems that a lot of these pieces of copper, the oxidation is still on them. They have an outer layer of oxide. I'm almost certain that's oxidization, or maybe it's just grease, but I'm almost certain that that's the oxidization. And it's still not coming off. You can see it's a horrible black color. And these have been sitting around since the beginning of time, so yeah. You can expect a little bit of oxidization. I'll just put my camera back in its rig. So yeah. Um I'll leave this to dissolve for a few hours more. And then Come back with you. Don't think I'm going to do a time lapse for this one. Or maybe I will. I don't know. Well, catch you in a few. Okay, so I um, just have a little piece of tubing as my positive electrode. Uh, it's in the solution right now. Um, just letting the outer layer dissolve because just let the oxidization dissolve a little bit and then it'll be ready in a couple hours. Okay, so it's been about 12 hours since I started. Um, the copper is dissolving nicely. It's a very nice blue Gatorade color. Wouldn't drink it, but it looks nice. Um, the oxide on the outside of most of these big pieces is starting, it's falling off and the copper is dissolving. Uh, and the oxide is depositing on the bottom. It's kind of gross. Probably run it through a coffee filter. But, um, yeah. So, now I just need to find something to electroplate. Let this sit for a couple more hours. And dissolve a little bit more. And then, I'll figure out what comes next. Alright. So, I think the copper is sufficiently dissolved. So, I transferred it from this Tupperware right here to this coffee can. And I'm going to filter it out, so uh, a couple wrenches holding up this coffee maker thing, a one cup coffee maker. Um, just going to use a coffee filter. Uh, my workbench isn't exactly level. So um, putting in the coffee.
off the filter and then just gonna pour it in very slowly and make sure the camera's getting this oh jesus it's already gone wrong Okay, so it's filtering. It'll drip pretty slowly. Ah, too slow. I'm gonna drill this out. Nope. I'll set that over there. I'm gonna place my off brand wrenches across. And put this on. So I'm gonna place my coffee filter back in. And and start pouring my solution. Now that's more like it. Oh, I'm just gonna let that go through, and yeah, I'm gonna filter it out and catch up when it's done. So I think the copper is sufficiently dissolved, so I transferred it from this Tupperware right here to this coffee can. And I'm going to filter it out, so uh, a couple wrenches holding up this coffee maker thing, a one cup coffee maker. Um, just going to use a coffee filter. Uh, my workbench isn't exactly a level. So um, putting in the coffee filter, and then just going to pour it in. Very slowly, and make sure the camera's getting this. Oh, Jesus. It's already gone wrong. Okay, so it's filtering. It'll drip pretty slowly. Ah, too slow. I'm gonna drill this out. Okay, so um, I just got a filtering. There's still a bit of crap in there, but whatever. It's much cleaner than it was before. It's actually quite pretty. Yeah, so um, probably just gonna use a battery as my power source. I got my multimeter out, and hope you can read that. Yep. So just make sure it's not in the solution. 12.95 it's an 18 volt um not fully charged not like i'd like it to be but yeah whatever so um set this back in the corner so um yeah i'm going to be electroplating uh this wrench just nine millimeter off brand i think it was harbor freight or something yeah we have a huge bucket of them down below the workbench so we're gonna be electroplating this i Here's my positive, my negative electrode, or no, this is my positive electrode. Yeah, this is my positive electrode. Um, I'm hoping that it, that this is my positive, because electricity flows from positive to negative, and I want this to be coated in copper, so um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think you want this to be your negative electrode, and this to be your positive electrode. So, um connect some alligator clips to it. Uh, I'll do positive first. Ah oh, crap, I forget which one is which. Um, uh, wonderful. So, um, just gonna set this in. Ah, Jesus. Don't have enough solution. Okay, hang off the side of the bucket. Whatever. Alright, that's good enough. So now my wrench. Just gonna put this on the closed end. And I ground off the chrome plating. So um uh, hold on. I gotta get out my wrench again. Not my wrench, the meter again. Alright, DC volts. I need to figure out which one's positive. Alright. No, it's just it's the exact opposite of a house, actually. Uh, never mind. So, I'm going to push back this stuff. 
at these things. Positive connected. And negative connected. So now there should be electricity flowing through. Change of plans. Um, I changed from its drill battery to mobility scooter battery, get more current out of it. Hopefully this process will go quicker because of it. And oh wow. Already you could see the copper showing up. That's pretty cool. Oh man, this is exciting. Okay. I'm just gonna let this sit for a while. And I'll be back in a second. Pulled it out of a um Electroplating solution and I'll admit my prep work is just absolute crap and so I wiped it off um, It's a little bit of copper. I'll try to get my phone to focus Yeah, whatever so you can see a bit of copper color on the inside of the wrench um, For my first time ever electroplating. I feel like <laughs> this went okay um, Gonna try something else uh, Try to electroplate this. I think this may be aluminum. Here, let me go check with the magnet real quick. I got a magnet here. Just one of the little poker ones. And it sticks. So this is, in fact, steel. Or iron. Don't know what's coating it. I think it may be uh, zinc coated. Uh, galvanized steel. Because it doesn't oxidize and we've had it for a million years. So... I don't know how well galvanized stuff will work. Huh. I'll drop this in the solution, starting to put copper on the end of my alligator clip. So, you know what? It's worth a shot. We'll stick it in here for a few minutes. And then see how it turns out. So I just went inside for a couple minutes, and um, I think something went wrong. I stuck this in the solution, and now it's frothing. Here, I'll just pull the phone out of the jig. Yeah, it's frothing. I don't know if that's good or not. I don't think it's good, actually. I'll pull it out. Yeah. It may just be dissolving the zinc. Huh, that was interesting. Alright. That's not good. Hope I didn't ruin my solution. I'll just wipe this off real quick. Put my phone back. I'm filming with my phone because the closest thing I have to a real camera is my GoPro. And GoPros, if you ever use one, they're great action cameras, but for anything else, not so good. Yeah, so this is kind of weird. Just left a line, you can see where it is. And then since I dropped the alligator clip into the solution, this is the where the um uh, electroplating solution fell on here. I don't know what it's done actually. Hmm. I think it might have dissolved the zinc. Like that solution also dissolves the zinc. But I'm not sure. I've got a nickel. I have no idea what's going to happen. I always forget what these are coated in. I know they're zinc core, but maybe that just might be pennies. Oh, that was weird. When I stuck it in, there was a bit of froth near it, and it just got sucked into the alligator clip. I'm just going to leave it in there for a couple seconds. Sometimes you can see with this, like, in the first couple seconds, if it's working or not. Sometimes it gets a tinge to it. Oh, yeah. Huh. Hold on a second. Got to grab another nickel from the toolbox. Hold up. Ah, here we go. No. Yeah, it's a little pinker. Huh. I may have a copper-coated nickel. I just pulled it out I just to check on it. And there's a spot where you could still see the base metal. Or, no, that's not the base metal. That's a top metal. But anyways, you could still see where it was, where the alligator clip was. I think now that I put this on... Yeah, yeah, but it's actually getting coated in copper. Oh, I've been leaving. I've left this in for like twenty minutes. Camera's not focusing. Um, 
it's getting pretty nicely covered in copper. Uh, yeah, looks pretty. There we go. Um, I don't know why this is happening. Uh, maybe since it's closer to the bottom, it's just not getting the copper on or whatever. But yeah, it's turning out pretty nice. Yeah, but you could start to see copper here looks more like your more, looks more like the copper you're used to seeing, which I find kind of interesting. So, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's the beginning stages of oxidization. And so now that I say that, I think maybe this is also uh, the cupric oxide or oxidized copper or whatever the proper name is for it. I think that's what this is over here. But I may be wrong. It may just be a bunch of crap on there. Yeah, doesn't come off my finger. So this will be cool. Um, yeah. Oh my God. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. What is that? <laughs> this is interesting. I was able to rub it off a little bit. Maybe it was some contaminant. I didn't clean this at all. I just grabbed it straight off my uh, toolbox over there. Didn't prepare this at all. Huh. It's probably just it reacting to something else. Yeah, but that's pretty cool. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and have a wonderful day.